More than 600 college students and staffers are under quarantine orders in Los Angeles tonight. Public health officials are trying to stop a measles outbreak that hit a 25-year high in the U.S. this week. And President Trump weighed in on vaccinations today. Here's Paula Reed. They have to get the shot. President Trump broke so his important. silence today on the historic measles outbreak spreading across the U.S. The vaccinations are so important. The CDC reports 695 cases in 22 states, the greatest number since measles was declared eliminated in the U.S. in 2000. The cases are primarily the result of a few large outbreaks, one in Washington state and two in New York that started in late 2018. Two Southern California colleges are turning to quarantines. At Cal State LA, 106 staff and 550 students are under quarantine after possible measles exposure at the campus library. UCLA now only has one student isolated. This is really going around now. They have to get their shots. The president's remarks appear to be an about face on his previous claims linking child vaccinations to autism. Numerous studies have shown no link between receiving vaccines and autism. I mean, but in a 2015 like GOP debate, candidate child. Trump cited anecdotal evidence linking the two. Just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever, got very, very sick, now is autistic. Mr. Trump added he was in favor of spreading out the vaccine schedule for young children. It has gotten totally out of control. I am totally in favor of vaccines, but I want smaller doses over a longer period of time. The Department of Health and Human Services endorsed vaccines earlier this week as a safe way to prevent the measles and recommended that people get vaccinated on the appropriate schedule. The White House says that it's in touch with HHS and the CDC as it continues to monitor this outbreak. Jeff. Paula Reed, thank you very much.